Hi, I'm Karen with CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin on the Facebook group, Cricut Help Desk Unofficial. I wanted to bring you this video today to talk about those cool spiral images that everybody is doing. I think a lot of them are calling them Spiral Betty, and I'll tell you, that comes from the name of the site that a lot of people are using. But I want to show you how to step it up a notch. I want to show you how to clean up your image first, and then use a different site that's going to allow you some other options, like making it into a heart, a star, or triangles. Let's go ahead and get started and clean up our image. To do this, we're going to go to remove.bg. We'll put the link in the description below. You'll want to go ahead and click upload image and locate your image on your computer. Once you do so, you can double click on it and it'll bring it right into the program and start to remove the background for you. You'll want to click edit. And then if you happen to notice that it removed too much or too little, you can use the erase and restore area and then select whether you're going to erase or restore parts that it took away. If you don't need to do that, or once you've completed doing that, you can click back to the background tab just to make sure that no background is applied. You'll see the black and gray checkbox. You have a transparent background on your image. Go ahead at the bottom and click download. Once you get the pop-up, click download image, and it'll go right to your default download folder or wherever you've set it to download. From here, we can go to the other website that is linesublime.com. That's the alternative to Spiral Betty. On this site, if you scroll down to the center where it says choose image, you can locate that file that you just downloaded from remove.bg. Again, probably in your downloads folder. Once you've selected it and opened it, you should see a little preview of it over on the left side of the screen. You can adjust it by clicking and dragging it around. You can also zoom in and out using this yellow, um, this yellow spot. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom that out and center up the image. On the right side, you can choose from the different shape options. So you can choose a spiral, a star, a heart, or two different triangles. I'm going to go ahead and do the heart shape. I'll adjust the image just a little more to make sure it is where I want it. In the color scheme, I'm going to keep to black and white because that's the easiest way to bring it into design space. Scrolling down the page, I'll click create your image. And then once the image has been created, I'll click the yellow download button at the top. Again, it'll download to your downloads folder by default or wherever you may have set it to do that. Now we'll go into Design Space. In Design Space on your canvas, you'll want to click Upload on the left, click Upload Image, and Browse. Here you'll want to look for that latest downloaded image. It might be in that downloads folder again. Once you locate it, go ahead and double click on it to open it. Choose Complex and click Continue. Now we need to remove the white background. To do that, click your Advanced Options. Reduce your colors to two. You have your white and your black. And increase your color tolerance to 100. And click the white area to remove the background. You'll see that it goes to the white and blue checks. That means it has a transparent background now. Click Continue. Make sure to select to save it as a cut image. And click Upload. Now from your recent uploads area, you can select it and do Insert Image on the bottom right to bring it onto your canvas. It does come in pretty large, so you'll want to go ahead and decrease the size to something more manageable to see on your screen. I'm going to drop it right now to about 10 inches. And what you'll notice is there is a logo from the website. I am going to remove it. To do so, I'm going to choose a shape. I'm going to go with a square. I'm going to place that over the logo. 
I'm then going to highlight over it. Now they're both selected and I can click slice at the bottom right. When this slices, it'll take all those pieces and break them apart from my main image. Once you see them up here on the right side of the screen, you can go ahead and select all the pieces that we do not need and delete them. Now we're left with just our heart. Go ahead and double check its measurements. Make sure it is as you want it for your design. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back at 10 inches. And I'm gonna click make it. I'm gonna cut my image on HTV, therefore I am going to need to mirror it. Click continue. And I'll select my material as everyday iron on. If you have an Explore Air 2, you can go to the custom setting on your dial and then use the dialog on the screen just like I did. Okay, I have my mat ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it on my Cricut Maker. See you in a minute. I got my design off of the cutter and I'm ready to go ahead and start weeding it. We'll go ahead and let you see that happen. All right, now that it's all weeded and ready to go, we'll go ahead and press it onto a shirt. Okay, I'm over at my heat press. I have my design ready to go. My press has been heating up, so that is ready as well. Do a quick um, two to three second press just to remove, remove any extra moisture from my shirt. I do also use a lint roller to make sure all the lint is removed. I did that already as well. I'm gonna go ahead and line up my design right onto my shirt. I go about three inches down from the collar, and then I use my centering ruler the most just to make sure I am lined up where I want it. I check to make sure that that is centered. And go ahead and put it down. Make sure to use the heat settings according to the HTV that you're using. So check your HTV and your manufacturing instructions for your temperature, time, your pressure, and your peel. In this case, I'm going to do a hot peel. And there we go. We have our design using the spiral effect in a heart shape the cat image. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Happy crafting!